Hi, this is Blake, and this is an introduction to JASM for ID users. And this particular video is about setting the preferences for JASM. So I typically just go to the JASM website, and I run on Windows, so I download the .exe, and I run the installer. And once I do that, this is what a brand new clean installation of JASM looks like. So I'm going to go to Edit, Preferences. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up JASM so it can upload and download data from OpenStreetMap. So we basically need to supply our username and password for OpenStreetMap. And JASM uses this thing called OAuth. So we say authorize now. Ask me for my username and my password. So I'm just going to type those in. And then I say authorize now. It does a little thing gives me these two tokens so now it'll never have to pass my username and password again it'll just pass these tokens it's slightly more secure but say test mine is always successful hopefully yours is too and then say accept those access tokens so that's all set now JASM will be able to log into OpenStreetMap anytime I need to upload or download data the next thing I need to do is install the buildings tools plugin so you click on this plugin tab for preferences and you say download list. It goes out, it downloads the list, and as soon as it downloads, there's a lot. There's like 50 or 100. So as soon as it downloads the list, I'm going to type in this search box, buildings. And here's the plugin that I'm looking for. It says buildings tools. And you just check the box and then you say update plugins. And now it goes through the process of actually downloading and installing the plugin. Um, you know, usually it goes pretty well, like most things with JASM. It says it was successful. That's great. The very last thing I need to do is I need to turn on the remote control for JASM. And this is so that the hot tasking manager can pass over the tasking square areas to map. So you just click on this second to the last one and you say settings for the remote control feature and you just say enable remote control and then you might as well enable the HTTPS support too. Um, the tasking manager doesn't use it at the moment but it might someday and other tools may very well use it. So just say enable HTTPS support and then click on the install certificate button um, just go ahead and click on OK. It's going to create its own certificate. So we just say yes, we want to install that one. And everything is set. The very last thing I, I would suggest is turn on expert mode. Um, give you a few more options in the menus. But that's about it for preferences. It's going to want to restart after I make those changes. But that's all you really need to worry about for preferences as far as JASM goes. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.